Howdy folks and welcome to episode 14 of Sky Factory 2.5. I have done some changing, shuffled things around, completely screwed some things up, undid a bunch of stuff, redid some more stuff. I got rid of the barrels using the deep storage unit. Um, I tripled my cobble uh, output, so it's trying to maintain but it's not able to quite keep up I'm not creating enough cobble for what I'm doing over here now this little setup right here is the most ghetto fabulous thing you will ever see in your life the way I have it set up is the uh, cobble goes in here gets compressed gets sent into here and this breaks the compressed cobble into gravel sends it into here where it gets compressed again and here's the first juncture it can either go straight into this chest and go on to be sifted uh, or if I have this pipe connected right here it'll go in here and get broken down and sent to the next one as sand to get compressed and then it also has the option of going ahead to get sifted or going to the next one to get broken down again into dust to get compressed. And it just depends on which pipes I have connected at the time. Right now, it is still working on the dust. And I've got quite a bit in here. Uh, this guy, I can't see... I don't have any enchanted books. I don't have an enchanting table, nothing. I don't have a way to speed him up except for with food. And I ran out of the good stuff. So a speed boost of six is pretty much the best I can do right now on him. But he goes through, sifts through it, sends materials over. They get crafted into blocks, sent over into the alloy smelter, which cooks them down. And then the other materials get sent over here. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I've got a few materials over here. We're not doing too bad. Now, why is this power line going over here? Well, I thought about it, and in most cases, whenever you come to a large building or something, the uh, mainframes, the server room, the networking room, whatever you want to call it, is almost always in the basement. And that's kind of what this is. This is kind of the downstairs. So I decided to turn this into the server room. Uh, I started making some of these ME drive uh, bays here. I've got a couple of storage cells already in here. And that's what the power is going to, is to this guy right here. Now I don't know if I need to run power to this one, that one, and that one as well or if it will connect through the drive base. I'm going to test it out whenever I get enough to actually stretch them all the way across. Um, these blocks right here, these nifty looking fans, they're just technical blocks. They're very, very cheap to make. Uh, let me pull them up real quick. It is this guy right here. You get uh, stone, just regular stone, five of them, and then four iron ingots makes 32 of these things. I, that's cheaper than regular blocks. And these are all the different ones that you can make with a chisel. <laughs> so, uh, why wouldn't you? Uh, they are extremely cheap blocks. I, I love these things, and they're pretty neat looking too. I like the fans. Uh... <clears throat> Excuse me. So with this being the server room down here in the basement, we would then go upstairs to access it. And I figured probably right where this light is, I would have the access point coming up and then the terminal right here in the middle of the room. I'm not sure exactly. Uh, this thing. Okay. Here I have an import bus attached to this thing. I block this thing in so that these guys aren't hanging up on the edge anymore but I ran the import bus and I'm shooting things straight into the ME system right now uh, the problem with that 
I ran into a problem almost immediately. While I was uh, removing all the chests that were up there, letting the vacuum chest pick them up and send them through that pipeline down to the ME, this thing filled up in an instant. I, it, it took no time at all. It was full. So I went looking and I found a way to fix it. The number one enemy of one of these things is the uh, unstackables, like the bows and the uh, armor that mobs drop. There is so much of it. Well, this little uh, export bus right here, you can put a fuzzy card in. Now, I've got the redstone card in here to activate it, and I've got the fuzzy card and two capacity cards. The capacity cards unlock all nine blocks, okay? So you get an item and you stick it in here and now the fuzzy block makes it pull out all of them that are similar. Every pair of golden boots. Doesn't matter what the durability is. Doesn't matter if it's enchanted or not. Every pair of golden boots this will pull out and send right into the trash can deleted I don't have to worry about them anymore now I did want to see if yes finally golden chest plate you see there's three of them in here okay so I come up here I place that guy right there you see it just makes a copy of it all right I come back over here I'm just gonna throw it in there so there should be four in here correct so we'll just type in chest up just the chainmail one. Now, in order to get rid of the chainmail one, I have to make another import bus because you can only put nine items in this filter. This one has the leather set and the gold set and bows. Okay, so I'd make another uh, ex export bus, not import bus, export bus, and I would put the iron armor set, the chainmail set. And stone swords, since I seem to get a lot of those too. And it would automatically pull all of those out and throw them away. So, I mean, it's a really simple setup, real easy to do and everything. Uh, <clears throat> it, it shouldn't be too bad. Um, right now, it's just really ugly looking. And I think the worst thing to me is this right here. So, I had an idea, and I don't know if this is actually a good idea or not. This could be a horribly bad idea. I want to see if I can make some Tesseracts. Uh, so, let's come over here, and we're going to search for Tesseract. Okay, here we go. To make a Tesseract, I need silver ingots, bronze ingots, and a full Tesseract frame. To make a full frame, I need to put Resonant Ender in an empty frame. And this is what I need for an empty frame. I need Enderium Ingots. And I am one short. Oh, I also need Diamonds. Haha, <laughs> that is also a problem. That is why... Uh, oops. <clears throat> Excuse me. That is why I was over here doing this. And I'm going to just flat out cut off the dust... I don't want the dust to run anymore. I want it to just sit there. I want this gravel to get going. Uh, because I should have... Yeah, I've got a lot of gravel in here. Once this guy... You know what? I'm just going to... There. Start doing the gravel. <laughs> I don't have the patience for that. Start doing the gravel. Give me some diamonds. Oh, crap. I forgot. Do I need to... Yeah, I think I need to update this. No, I got diamond in there. Yeah, I still have all these in here, so that's good. It might accidentally pull one over here. Uh, and I'm not too terribly worried about this backing up. I just want to get some diamonds in here. So, we'll, we'll just let that run for a minute. Um, the other thing I need, I need to make some Enderium ingots. So, to make that, I need... Enderium base. To make Enderium base, I need two tin, 
one silver, and one platinum or shiny. Okay, let's see if I have those. Uh, we'll go to ingots. Now, where is my tin? I know I've got tin. Uh, no, there's silver. I need a silver. I need two tin. And I need a shiny or platinum. There's shiny. Okay. We're good. So now I take these over to the alloy smelter, which has moved over here just because I've been stretching things out, trying to make stuff do what I want it to do. <laughs> Ooh, it makes four at a time. That's right, because it uses one, two, three, and four. Okay, so it's using four ingots, and I'm getting four ingots in return. That's not bad. I can't complain about that. So I have plenty of enderium base right now. I should be able to make some enderium ingots real fast. Let me come over here again. What do I need? I need enderium base, ender pearls, and pyrothium dust. Is there another way? No. Okay, pyrothium dust and intervals. How do I make the pyrothium dust again? I forgot. Oh, okay, there it is. So we'll make some of this up. And yeah, that's more than enough. I need to get some ender pearls. Uh, there we go. That's plenty. More than plenty. All right. Come over here. Uh, come on. I'm, I'm just going to let that cook up. Uh, while that's cooking, there was something else that I needed to do. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I need to fill this frame, uh, a full test rack frame. So I need to get resonant ender in the fluid transposer. I do have a fluid transposer, uh, if you recall, playing with the glowstone. Where is it? Uh, fluid transposer. There it is. Get these filters out of the way, because I'm not using them right now. Fluid transposer, we're just going to stick on this ugly line right here. And now I need to get some buckets, because <laughs> I'm planning ahead so well. And let's get some buckets. Yeah, I, you know what? I don't need all that. There we go. Probably don't even need that many. All right. Now, one thing I did do that was actually planning ahead. Let me take a bite to eat. There we go. You see that green stuff right there on top? That is resonant ender. That is what we need to put inside this tesseract frame. So I'm going to come over here. Oh, crap. This thing's full. I forgot about that. Okay. Now, we'll put the resonant ender in here. <laughs> so I get six buckets of the stuff. Um, that'll be plenty. <sighs> There's one. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I think it uses a fair amount of this stuff. Um to fill up one of the frames. I'm not sure how much. I was just watching the uh, animation for the fluid transposer, putting it in there, and it looked like it was using a bit. Uh, we'll see if four buckets is enough. Let's come over here. F fluid transposer. Going to fill mode, and let's put that stuff in there. Because I have to make two tesseracts, okay? The reason you need two, I should have clicked that, okay? You need the reason you need two is you have the source, which I would put probably on top of this guy or something, and then you need the destination, okay? You can't just throw one tesseract there and hope it does it. Not gonna cut it. Okay, uh, over here. Okay, this is done. Uh, I need Enderium Base, Pyrothium Dust, and Ender Pearl. There it goes. Oh, man. And that's with the 
top of the line capacitor on there. The oct 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 uh, I'm not even going to guess. <laughs> We're going to say the eight times capacitor. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's with that on there. It's moving that slow. Holy crap. Hero Brian was here. Good for you, Hero Brian. Enderium ingot. Okay. Uh, I don't need those right now. They can just stay there. Because I only... Oh, wait. No, no. See, I just said that I needed two tesseract frame uh two tesseracts and here i am thinking i'm okay with the materials to make one um you see this guy it uses four enderium ingots i have three and i just picked up two <laughs> i need three more get three more and i also need two diamonds do i have two diamonds yet no where are my diamonds why do I not have diamonds? Are you being lazy? You, get to work. Give me some diamonds. <laughs> I, I want diamonds. You're not going in there. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, it's going to be like that. All right. Well, there's the Enderium. We'll go ahead and throw this in the ME. That'll be good. Uh, and like I said, in order to make the empty frame, I still need those diamonds. I should have everything else, though. So. Yeah, I've got everything else. I just need two diamonds. All right, time to wait for some diamonds. All right, we just got the second diamond. Now, let's make these tesseract frames. Come back over here, make the frames. One and two. All right, now we need to fill uh, the tesseract frames. So we come over here and one and two. Oh my God. Oh man, you are going to be slow. <laughs> uh, how much is this going to use? Don't tell me it's going to use all of it. Let's see. Oh, okay. It only uses one bucket's worth. That's good. Alright. So here's our first one. And after that... Uh, yeah, that's the frame. In order to make that, we need bronze and silver. Which, I mean, we got plenty of that. That isn't a problem. Alright. And they're stackable. Awesome. So we'll come over here. We'll clear that out. We're just going to go ahead and throw these in the ME system. Shift, click. One. And two. Oh. Oh. They're not stackable anymore. <laughs> okay, so they're only stackable until you actually make the Tesseract. Now, for this guy, I want to stick the first one right over here. Uh, there we go. Right-click on it. Now, configuration. He is going to send... Uh, send only energy. We're not moving any of that stuff. Okay. Energy mode, send only. Alright, and... Uh, we'll just give that the channel 1, 2, 3. And we're going to call it, uh, just power. Alright, done. Now what that means is... I go and set up the other Tesseract over here. Let me go over here. I'm going to shift, right click, right click. Can I even reach that one? There we go. I can't get to that piece though. Just go inside. That's fine. Come in here. Okay, now I can reach it. Shift, right click. Now I grab my other Tesseract. I'm going to pop it down right there, right click on it, and then I select power, and receive energy. 
I'm going to turn off fluid mode and turn off item mode. Ignore the redstone. Okay, and I need to ignore the redstone on the other one. Once that's done, then it should be active. Yep, ignore the redstone. Okay, we're good. Now to test that, I will uh, go ahead and pop that off of there. Uh, let me see here. Where's something? This guy, this guy still has power. Um, let me see. You know what I want to do? I, I, okay, let me get these back in here. I want to. Okay, good, good, good. Run those right over like that. Pop that on there. Now I'm going to come over to this side. And we're going to disconnect it. Now, is this going to work? Sending energy. Uh, it looks like it is draining power out of the generator. Is it? No? Huh. Because that one's filling back up. Let me see. Are you draining power? You don't appear to be draining power. Or something else that's active. This guy's active. And... Okay. His power is filling back up. I disconnected the power source and it's going through the tesseract and running backwards through all that. So it is working. It's functioning. Doing exactly what I wanted to do. That's what I needed. Okay, so the next thing would be once I get more of these guys in here, I want to see if it actually connects through this or if I have to power this too. If I have to power this too, I could probably run the cable underneath these to hide it over to here and then run it through here to this one and then through here to this one. That's if I have to. And I'll let you know. Uh, believe me, I'll let you know if it works or not, what I have to do. But the, uh, the next step will be to... Uh, okay. Okay, I know what I need. Um, I can't think of what it's called, though. Let me come over here. I want to see if I have even some of the parts for it. It is for Applied <clears throat> Energetics. It's not on the first page, is it? doesn't look like. It's that funky-looking block. All the colors on it. I guess it is on the first page. Where is it? Uh, uh, well, okay, so that's the spatial pylon. Is this it? ME controller. Yeah, that. That's what I need. And I need more diamonds. Yep, I'm going to need more diamonds to make it. I'm going to have to craft some sky stone blocks. But uh, that's going to be the next thing to do is I'm going to make probably three of these. Uh, just because I don't know if I need three of them or not. I don't know if I can get away with one, but everybody else I've ever seen always has three of them. But I want to make up three of them and I'm probably going to put them right up here on the ceiling, probably right across where that light is. The middle one right there and then one to the left and right. Uh, and then I'm going to run these uh drive bays up to and i don't have to run all of them i can just pick one and it'll probably be the dead center one right here the drive bay that's sitting right here is going to run straight up into the controller all right and then the controller is going to run into the terminal and we'll have it all set up and i'll take you all through that i'm not going to do that off camera i'll show you how it's done um as far as this guy goes, I don't have this hooked into the ME system. I am doing this the manual way. I come over here and I pull the loot bags out. 
Uh, let me just grab some of them. Yeah. <laughs> okay, full. And then this chest right here, I throw them in. And I've got them hooked up uh, to this. They're shooting through this pipe, going straight into an autonomy activator. And he breaks, a, he opens them up and sends them into this first chest. And it just goes through the chest until it gets to this last one. And that's all it is. It's nothing special. It's not fancy by any stretch of the imagination. And there's four chests just because it fills up quickly. <laughs> but uh, yeah, next time we are going to see about doing that uh, ME controller, getting it set up, and actually moving our terminal from over there to right up here. Right outside the mob farm and everything. And I think upstairs uh, on this third level up here, I think I'm going to turn this into a machine room. I think that's what I'm going to do with it. It's not going to have this contraption by any means or any variation of it. It's going to have things like this fluid transposer and uh, other smaller single things. And I probably put this uh, QED system up there too. But, uh, like I said, that's going to be next time. Uh, that's going to be it for today, folks. If you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye now.